Hey everybody, over the last couple of weeks, we've all heard from places like Twitter and how uh, they have previously worked with like FBI officials to shadow ban people, cancel people, delete people. Uh, we also have had letters from big uh, attorneys general uh, to platforms like YouTube for violating people's First Amendment. And then last night, Donald Trump came out and said that he vows to save the First Amendment and went through a list of things that he will do if he's reelected. And I'm not going to lie, some of them had me saying, man, this sounds good. Now, as you know, just because you say something doesn't mean you'll do something. Actions speak louder than words, right, Tulsi Gabbard? But I thought I'd bring this to you because I want to hear you and what you think about what Donald Trump is promising to do. Now, I've been critical of Donald Trump in the past, specifically on his Second Amendment uh, views or failure to act in certain areas or actions he did take that affect us still today. But I've always said he ran the country like a fantastic business. And I want to hear what you say about this. I'm going to put up his speech, uh, credit to his campaign, and I want to hear what you say about this because he has some really good points and he is promising to take action that if he takes this action could fundamentally change the way things are. So I figured I'd bring it to you and I want to hear what you think. Here it is. If we don't have free speech, then we just don't have a free country. It's as simple as that. If this most fundamental right is allowed to perish, then the rest of our rights and liberties will topple just like dominoes, one by one, they'll go down. That's why today I'm announcing my plan to shatter the left-wing censorship regime and to reclaim the right to free speech for all Americans. And reclaim is a very important word in this case because they've taken it away. In recent weeks, bombshell reports have confirmed that a sinister group of deep state bureaucrats, Silicon Valley tyrants, left-wing activists and depraved corporate news media have been conspiring to manipulate and silence the American people. They have collaborated to suppress vital information on everything from elections to public health. The censorship cartel must be dismantled and destroyed, and it must happen immediately. And here's my plan. First, within hours of my inauguration, I will sign an executive order banning any federal department or agency from colluding with any organization, business, or person to censor, limit, categorize, or impede the lawful speech of American citizens. I will then ban federal money from being used to label domestic speech as mis- or disinformation. And I will begin the process of identifying and firing every federal bureaucrat who has engaged in domestic censorship, directly or indirectly, whether they are the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Health, Human Services, the FBI, the DOJ, no matter who they are. Second, I will order the Department of Justice to investigate all parties involved in the new online censorship regime, which is absolutely destructive and terrible, and to aggressively prosecute any and all crimes identified. These include possible violations of federal civil rights law, campaign finance laws, federal election law, securities law, and antitrust laws, the Hatch Act, and a host of other potential criminal, civil, regulatory, and constitutional offenses. To assist in these efforts, I am urging House Republicans to immediately send preservation letters, and we have to do this right now, to the Biden administration, the Biden campaign, and every Silicon Valley tech giant, ordering them not to destroy evidence of censorship. Third, upon my inauguration as President, I will ask Congress to send a bill to my desk, revising Section 230, to get big online platforms out of censorship business. From now on, digital platforms should only qualify for immunity protection under Section 230 if they meet high standards of neutrality, transparency, fairness, and non-discrimination. 
We should require these platforms to increase their efforts to take down unlawful content such as child exploitation and promoting terrorism while dramatically curtailing their power to arbitrarily restrict lawful speech. Fourth, we need to break up the entire toxic censorship industry that has arisen under the false guise of tackling so-called mis- and disinformation. The federal government should immediately stop funding all nonprofits and academic programs that support this authoritarian project. If any U.S. university is discovered to have engaged in censorship activities or election interferences in the past, such as flagging social media content for removal of blacklisting, those universities should lose federal research dollars and federal student loan support for a period of five years and maybe more. We should also enact new laws laying out clear criminal penalties for federal bureaucrats who partner with private entities to do an end run around the Constitution and deprive Americans of their First, Fourth, and Fifth Amendment rights. In other words, deprive them of their vote. And once you lose those elections, and once you lose your borders like we have, you no longer have a country. Furthermore, to confront the problems of major platforms being infiltrated by legions of former deep staters and intelligence officials, there should be a seven-year calling-off period before any employee of the FBI, CIA, NSA, DNI, DHS, or DOD is allowed to take a job at a company possessing vast quantities of U.S. user data. Fifth, the time has finally come for Congress to pass a digital Bill of Rights. This should include a right to digital due process. In other words, government officials should need a court order to take down online content, not send information requests such as the FBI was sending to Twitter. Furthermore, when users of big online platforms have their content or accounts removed, throttled, shadow banned, or otherwise restricted, no matter what name they use, they should have the right to be informed that it's happening, the right to a specific explanation of the reason why, and the right to a timely appeal. In addition, all users over the age of 18 should have the right to opt out of content moderation and curation entirely and receive an unmanipulated stream of information if they so choose. The fight for free speech is a matter of victory or death for America and for the survival of Western civilization itself. When I am president, this whole rotten system of censorship and information control will be ripped out of the system at large. There won't be anything left. By restoring free speech, we'll begin to reclaim our democracy and save our nation. Thank you, and God bless America. Well, there you go. That's uh, Donald Trump saying what he will do when he is inaugurated. Again, if he's inaugurated, it's going to be a knockdown, drag out fight for the uh, presidential election. But uh, here's a list. Sometimes people are better better to see these things visually. Here it is on the screen. Oh, these are the things that he has promised he will do to stop the government from censoring Americans and to stop major corporations from blacklisting, shadow banning, and censoring Americans. And I believe, I really do believe to my core, that if you cannot speak freely, then you're not a free nation. And America really hasn't been able to speak freely for a while. So let me know what you think about it down below. Does this change your path of what you were planning to do in 2024? The presidential election season has already started. And uh, let me know what you think about this. I really want to see the comments on this one. If you want to help this channel get through this shadow ban that we know is here, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel down below, and let me know what you think in the comments. And I will be back later on to have another video for you. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Because although all of our rights are huge, paramount, and pillars of liberty, without the Second Amendment, none of them exist. I'll see you in the next one, y'all. Take care.